When someone asks if you know how to sew, you'd probably say no. Not a lot of people know how difficult sewing can be, especially with the math added in. There's a lot of math in sewing, including geometry, measurements, and addition along with the occasional subtraction. Measurements are the priority of sewing, being off by a single centimeter can ruin an entire project. Say your commission to sew a dress for a friend. Making a dress alone requires 18 different measurements to be taken, then you need to figure out how much material you would need from those measurements, and then factor in the cost of the materials per yard. Depending on the store you buy from, the material you're using, how much you need, and any extra tools or patterns you may need to buy, the cost can add up quickly. With the measurements, being exact is crucial to the making of the dress. If you measure an area on the body where the dress is supposed to fit snug, cutting the material too short can ruin the entire dress. Not only do the measurements need to be exact, but the fabric itself needs to have at least an extra centimeter around the cut fabric for the seam allowance so the garment fits correctly. Most people don't even realize that sewing is riddled with math. From measurements to fractions, adding and subtracting, and the ever so obvious geometric aspect, it's hard to see how people can overlook all of the math. When you get down to it, sewing is applied geometry. You are using flat pieces of fabric to approximate the curvature of a complicated surface. Seamstresses and other sewists don't get much credit for their research in applied geometry, perhaps because traditionally feminine activities are not assumed to be very mathematical. Much like crochet, people see sewing as a traditional feminine hobby that can't possibly have math in them. Well, we already proved that wrong with crocheting the hyperbolic plane. Just because a hobby may be seen as feminine doesn't mean math isn't included in it. Crochet, knitting, sewing, baking, cooking, sometimes even cleaning and grocery shopping, traditional chores that a woman would do in the early 1800s to now all have math riddled throughout them.